last part of telencephalon is called the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia work in concert with cortex, thalamus, and brainstem. Together, they orchestrate, execute, planned, motivated behavior, requiring motor, cognitive, and limbic circuits. Later studies demonstrated basal ganglia involvement not only in motor execution, but also in motor planning and in sensory motor integration. But our concept of the basal ganglia changed in the last years. From a purely motor or sensory motor one to a more complex set of functions. This set of functions mediate the full range of goal-directed behaviors. That means the basal ganglia are also involved in processes that lead to movement, in all the elements that drives action, including emotions, motivation and cognition, especially the ventral part of the basal ganglia, the limbic part, plays a key role in reward and reinforcement and is important in the development of addictive behaviors and habit formation. But who helps the basal ganglia to decide if and which action is to be performed. On the one hand, it is our consciousness that tries to exert influence. On the other hand, we have the emotional stored experiences. They determine which action is performed. Amygdala and hippocampus and other limbic cortical areas strongly influence the basal ganglia. Descartes' statement, I think, therefore I am, should rather be transformed into I feel so I am. And if we consider the function of the insula, so, it could also be like what Craig said, I feel that I am. <laughs>